Okay, in question one here, we're going to look at the quadratic formula. So the first thing we're going to do is actually write down the quadratic formula and uh, keep it beside us while we do all of question one. So we'll need the quadratic formula for all of question one. So the quadratic formula is this. Quadratic formula, and you can write it down as well. If you write things down, it helps you remember them. If we have ax squared plus bx plus c equal to zero. If we have a quadratic equation in this form with one side equal to zero, then we can say that the solution is x is negative b plus or minus the square root of b squared minus four a times c and the whole thing over two a, all over two a, okay? So here's two ways of memorizing something. One, you can write it out five times, and when you write it down, it helps you remember it. And another way, you, uh, you could uh, associate it with something. I heard a funny story about it. Uh, it goes like this. Buzzy Buzzy Bee arrives at his friend's house, who's asleep. Zzz, Z's here for asleep. He knocks plus, he knocks minus, he tells his friend to take away four apples over two apples. Okay. Uh, it doesn't, you know, it kind of helps. Of course, you got a C in here as well. But that kind of helps to remember it, I think. So, on to question one. The first thing we need to do is identify one a, uh, identify a, B, and C. A, B, and C are the coefficients of x squared x and, and the, uh, the, uh, the number here, right? The constant. So, the coefficient of x squared is what? Coefficient of x squared is 1, right? Coefficient of x squared is 1. So what we have is, um, let's see it this way. What we have is a equals 1, b equals 5, and c equals what? c is 3, okay? So now we can plug these into the formula. x equals so it's negative b plus or minus square root of b squared minus 4ac over 2a, right? So it's negative parenthesis, and this is the best way to do it is just use parentheses because we will have negative numbers to deal with and parentheses really help with that. Plus or minus the square root of parenthesis squared minus 4 parenthesis parenthesis, right? The square root goes all the way to the end. And the whole thing divided by 2 times parenthesis. Okay, so that is the neatest way of doing it. You start off with parentheses. Then you gotta decide where do my a, b's, and c's go, right? So it's negative b, so b goes here, and it also goes here, right? Minus 4ac. a is 1, what's c? c is 3. What goes down here? 1, right? Okay, now this then becomes negative 5 plus or minus whatever this thing is all over and tell me what 2 times 1 is all over 2 right now let me give you a neat way of calculating this okay some students they like to do it this way they like to go okay negative 5 plus or minus square root of 5 squared is 25 minus 4 times 1 times 3 all over 2 and then they go okay that's negative 5 plus or minus square root of 25 minus uh, 12 all over 2 and then okay that's negative 5 uh, plus or minus square root of 13 all over 2 and they keep going keep going keep going they keep having to write out a whole bunch of fractions right one neat way of, of doing this is to just take this here and calculate that on the side of the page okay so calculate the square root and then put it when you're done with that you're just going to put it back in here, right? So that's 5 squared. 5 times 5? Five, 5, right? Minus, what's 4 times 1? That'd be 4. And then that's times 3, right? So that becomes root of 25 minus 12, right? Which is root of 13, right? And so then you can just put that back in here and um, it just means we don't have to write out the fraction every time we calculate something inside the root. Right?
like here where we're every time we're doing a different combination inside this route we're writing out the whole thing again just takes a little bit of time anyway it's a little neat okay so x equals this right and that's fine what we want to do though is just really understand what this means okay so the first thing i want to do is write negative five you know plus root 13 over two okay plus or minus plus this this thing here is plus or minus okay so what this means is x equals that or x equals negative five minus root 13 all okay so that's what the plus or minus means okay plus or minus mean have a plus or you can have a minus and that those are are, are our two solutions okay we have two solutions to the same equation okay so now we can also calculate this as a decimal so if you take out your calculator and calculate that as a decimal right so negative 5 plus 13 and in you might have a calculator that can do all that just just negative 5 plus root 30 so that's you know point